Hello everyone, my name is Kerit Kopani and in this video we're going to learn about how to make a to-do app on Android Studio. First things first, you need to just open Android Studio and then it will open this page. After that, we will just tap here on empty activity and then tap next. And here on name, we will name our project how we want it to be named. I will just name it to-do list. And after that, we just tap here on finish and then we will wait some seconds. So after two to three minutes, this is the first page th that we see on Android Studio, which is the main activity um, page. And firstly, we need to work on the XML here. And you can find this file in RES and layout. And this is the XML file. And we will see the hello world here. This is what it will be displayed on the uh, on this cell phone. The first thing that we need to do is just delete text view here that just contains hello world. And now the other thing that we need to do is um, create an edit text field that uh, we need to add our tasks. We create edit text by just typing here edit text. And then for the layout width, we're going to put it on 0 dp. And for the layout height, we're gonna just make it wrap content. And we use wrap content because for the height, wrap content just makes it large enough to fit internal content. Now we're just gonna put some weight. And we want it to be equal to 4. After that, we add some ID of uh, how we are going to call the edit text on the um, main activity area. And let's say we want it to be named edit text. And now let's just place some hint of uh, what is going to be written above the edit text area in the display. And we want uh, enter item. As you can see, uh, it is not uh, how we want it to be. It's because we want edit text to be in, uh, wrapped uh, between two linear layouts. And uh, we want the width to be 0 dp. Again, the layout height, we want it to be wrap content. We're going to put some orientation here. And for the orientation, we are going to put this on horizontal because we want the uh, edit text and we want the button uh, to be horizontal. But to do that, we also need to put some orientation here. And we want it to be vertical. We want it to be vertical because we want um, the things to be uh, one by one after the other because we want other item here, button here and um, items down below them. So we're going to put vertical here. And let's change this to linear layout. And for the orientation, as I said, horizontal. So for the layout width, it's going to be match parent to match width and height as its parent attribute tag. And uh, that's all for the edit text area. And as you can see, it it is uh, far different from what was displayed um, before. After we do that, we add uh, we want to add a button, and to add a button, we just need to do the same thing as we did with the edit text area, but with the button. And for the layout width, we're just gonna put um, again uh, zero dp, and for the height, the same thing with wrap content. We're just um, going to put some weight. And for the layout weight, we're just going to put it um, f at 1 to uh, just take a small uh, place on the display. And we want a text. And let's say add. And now it has add written here. Uh, the last thing we're going to deal with button is make an um, ID as well. 
we want of course we want to um, put an ID in every field and we want it uh, to be button so you might ask how will the items take place on the display and the answer is by making a list view the list view is going to be outside the linear layout here that is horizontal because we want it to be vertical down below the item uh, edit text and um, the uh, bottom let's make the list, list view the same way we made edit text and uh, button uh, for the width we're going to make it match parent and height wrap content now we are going to make a ID and we will name it list also we will make a uh, margin on the bottom to be more aesthetic for 12 dp as you can see this is the, um, the, the change and also to make uh, more aesthetic the the linear layout here we are going to make two margins one uh, on the uh, on the bottom to make some space between the edit text and the items and also some on the top right here and this is it for the XML uh, part. One last thing, let's change the layout width here at bottom with 0 dp. And we're ready to go. So the first thing that we need to do is create some class variables. And we use class variables to reserve memory data. And also because class variables are user-defined blueprints from which objects are created. We will first create an array list. This will hold various to do items. Um, this will be type string and will be called items. After that, we create a list view called list and also a button called button. And now we want to use private. We use this in variables that are only visible. Uh, to the class which they belong. The next thing we are going to do is find uh, the list view by ID. We named list view list and we will write list equal to find view by ID. And here we will use the ID that we gave the list view on the XML file. We will do the same thing with all find view by ID. And also we will find button equal to again find view by ID. And here we will write button because this was the ID of button in XML. After we have done that, now we will create the action that will happen after we click on the button. And we will do that by writing button dot set on click listener. And here we will just write a new view and the code will auto generate for us. And inside of here we will create a method called add item. This will be on lower cases. And let's click here on the red button and we will create a method for the add item. And this will just shorten our our work here in main activity. And this will be the place where we implement the method. We will leave the button as it is for now, and uh, we will create an array list for the items. We will do that by um, writing items equal to new array list. Now the most critical part of creating an array list for items is using an array adapter. An adapter is the thing that is uh, responsible for making a view for each item in the data set. And we'll create our adapter here in the private class variable area. Array adapter type string.
and we will name it items adapter. And now we will create the items adapter. We create it by just typing items adapter equal to new array adapter. And now we will pass in the context. And after that, we will use Android dot r dot layout and we use this uh, because it tells the list view what layout to use for the individ individual rows um, and of course we will specify uh, which items we are passing in which are items and now we will use our set adapter and we use set adapter in order to display items in the list and here we will pass what we just created which is items adapter as you can see if i write something on the on the app it will not add anything and let's just jump to our add item here the first thing that we need to do is find our edit text and we will name it input because it will it will be something that will be inputted by the by the user and it will be equal to find view by id edit text after that we will extract the string out of it and we we'll do that by creating a string variable called item text and then input dot get text and we use get text to get text entered on the edit text view dot to string the next thing we are going to do is um, make a quick check if the user has typed anything in and not entering an empty string and we do that with uh, if conditions and if the user hasn't entered an empty string then um, we will add our string to our adapter or else we want to create a message that the user can enter an empty string we do that by just adding toast and in the context we use get application context because we want to return the context for the entire application process and here we will write please enter text and here we will tell our program how long will the message show and we want it to be long and let's just check our program As you can see, the items um, are being inputted. But I don't like the way that um, this homework here doesn't delete after we just press add. We can fix this on if statement. And we want an empty string after we have pressed the add button. Input dot set text. And this will be empty. Let's just check. As you can see, it is deleted automatically. Now let's check also the else condition. And if I press on add, this will be the text displayed. To be more aesthetic, let's just make this on uppercase letters. And what if we want to delete those items or tasks? We can do that by creating set on item long click listener and inside of here we will write new adapter view and we use adapter view because it provides access to the data items and then we will just return remove which is a method that we will just create down below and also position which will be the position that um, of the item that we will delete
and now we will create the method for the remove here. Inside of here, the first thing that we need to do is create context. We use context because we need to create a toast message. Get application context. After that, we create the toast. And here we will write the item removed. And for the length, we will make it long. And now we need to return boolean, so we need to return true. Now, if we add two items and we want to delete one of them, it will not delete. It will say item removed, but it will not delete because we have missed the most critical part, which is the item remove. We need to write here items remove position. And after we do that, we will also need to add an items adapter to notify data has changed. This will make sure the adapter is up to date. And if we test it again, and long click here, we will see that the item has been removed. So this is all about to-do list app on Android Studio. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please give a like down below. And if you have any questions, please comment on the comment section. Goodbye.